Hey guys, Serial Killer here. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to bind a Spectrum satellite receiver with no full receiver using only NAS and the CLI. This is a Lemon satellite. It's plugged in. It has, it's receiving 3.3 volts ground and it is sending its signal to the signal pin of RC4. This is a NAS integrated um, tricopter body from RC Explorer, however this works on any um, iteration of the NACE. First we're going to come up here and connect to it. Now you'll notice it is bound right now and I do not have another transmitter that I can bind it to to break um, the binding to my Devo unfortunately. So I'm going to run through the process and rebind it, but unfortunately you're just going to have to take my word that it works. I promise you I'm not making this up though. First thing we want to do, oops, wrong button. Give it one second to reboot and then go back into CLI. And we're going to type in set space spectrum underscore sat underscore bind equals I'm going to use 5. The number here tells the NAS what type of receiver it is. When I'm running my Devo transmitter, I get <clears throat> not as good of range, and I just don't feel as comfortable flying my very expensive tricopter in DSMX mode. Um, if you're using a different transmitter, I'm sure Lemon works in DSMX mode, but for me, um, I'm most comfortable and I have the most secure connection in DSM2 mode. So I'm going to use 5. Uh, if you're using DSMX, you use number 9. And there are also some circumstances, though very, very rare, when you may need to use 3 or 7 if you're using a very odd equipment combination. Probably not, though. You're probably either going to use 5 or 9. Hit Enter. You'll see it accepts that. Hit Save. Well, type Save and allow it to reboot. Take just a second to reboot. You know you're rebooted and as soon as it lets you go to... Okay. And as soon as it lets you choose one of these other tabs, you know it's finished rebooting. Now what we can do is we can disconnect. <clears throat> we want to come down here. We want to remove power. It's easier for me to unplug it right here. The board is powered down. Now if your satellite is powered by the onboard 3.3 volt regulator, all you need to do is apply USB power. If it's powered by some other regulator, you'll need to use your flight pack. What you want to do is get your transmitter ready. Um, I know Devo's kind of a little bit weird how binding works, so if you need to shut it off and turn it back on holding the bind button, then do whatever your transmitter requires. I have mine turned down all the way down to the lowest power setting which is 100 microwatts and that makes it so I don't have to be 3 meters away. So now we're going to power the board back up and as soon as you apply power to the board um, it's going to put the satellite into bind mode. So plug it in. You don't need to connect to it. No connecting. You'll notice we're in bind mode. Uh, now one thing I need to mention is that remember that when you're running a lemon in DSM2 mode it has brownout detection so the light may go solid or it may flash slower when it's actually bound um, just keep that in mind if I would wait longer between power down and power back up it would come back on solid but I don't think I waited long enough anyway I just want to make sure I have the correct number of channels eight channels uh, let's see I'm only going to use seven channels on this one and bind. Light goes out. It's binding. Okay. So now, uh, as I mentioned, it didn't have a long enough for the capacitor to totally discharge, so it thinks there's been a brownout. Uh, but that flashing light is actually saying it's bound. Enter. So now what we need to do, now's the tricky part. I mean, not tricky, but now's the step that you cannot skip. You need to unpower your board, pull out the USB, disconnect the satellite. If you power the board back up again with the satellite connected, it will forget that bind and put it back into bind mode. Make sure you disconnect your satellite before you apply power. 
plug the board back in. Go over to connect. Go over to CLI. Type in the same thing. S P E K T R U M underscore sat underscore B I N D equals. This time we're going to go to zero because we're turning off the satellite bind feature. Hit enter. It accepted that. Hit save. Allow it to reboot. Just a minute. Once again, you can choose anywhere else as soon as it allows you. Okay, it's rebooted. Go to disconnect. Pull the power. Come back down here. Plug the satellite back in. Make sure you do that last step. You have to set it back to zero, otherwise it will immediately enter bind mode again. Plug it in. So you'll see slow flashing. Again, that's brown out. Um, it's actually bound all the way. And we can come over here. Receiver. There you go. That is how to bind your Spectrum satellite with the NAS32 without the full receiver.